Hello, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and what I have in front of me here is a 440 fan stator from the early 90s here. Uh, these were used in uh, several models. Uh, you'd have to check and see which ones they, they correlate to and were used in. But this model here, we'll just take a look at the stator itself first. We've got our three lighting coils. We've got one, two, three, and they're always indicated the largest, uh, the largest gauge wire on the stator itself. Those are your lighting coils. So this one has three large ones. And then our other two coils on here stacked horizontally. These are ignition coils. Our bottom one here is our low speed coil. And then this is our high speed coil on top. So the way we check this for ohms is, well we take a look at our plugs here first. We've got basically two plugs and this is a ignition uh, ground plug here. But this is our plug that goes into our this is the plug that plugs into the wiring harness and the two wires two yellow wires here coming off those are your power and those are from your lighting coil those uh, power your hand warmers your lights your gauges and so forth and then we've got our ground wire and then we've got our uh, common wire here that runs and that's for ignition for shutting ignition off here so and then our other plug is our three-prong plug, and that is for our ignition coils here. This goes to the CDI box. This plug here, this four-prong, this is the one that you can jumper. You can use the jumper wire on and uh, bypass your gauges, wiring harness, and, and ignition switch and so forth. All you do is just put a wire, it looks like a shoehorn, just jump it from uh, the two non-yellow wires, or two yellow wire connectors, or these two female here. So you just want to go from the ground wire to this common wire here. And basically that's your key. Put a wire in, it hooks the two, loops the two together, and you've got connection. And then when you unplug it, that's basically your key. You're losing connection you can shut the sled off so so that's our plug there what we can do is we can just check our lighting coil first of all our lighting coil with the large gauge wire basically you're just looking for continuity it's going to be very low ohms usually under one ohm so I know this unit here most of these in this style it doesn't matter if you use negative or positive when you check these uh, most of the ignition or I'm sorry the lighting coils whether it be this model or even other models like 0 0.5 0 0.4 you know just looking for continuity so on my multimeter I just have it on the on the lowest setting and uh, minus 200 right there on the 200 setting 0.5 ohms so that's all we're looking for is continuity you can check uh, continuity between our plug on this side and our plug this side gonna be same thing like 0.4 ohms or so and it helps when you get a good connection there we go 0.4 ohms 0.3 ohms once again doesn't matter positive negative leads that you're using now on the ignition coils here now we've come to our three prong um, I, you can go by wire colors uh, sometimes in checking these, but I go by plug orientation just because I've run into issues with plug wire color not uh, correlating. People have spliced wires in, you know, just goofy things. So I just go by plug orientation. We put our female on the bottom here, and we put our two males on the top. So the first thing we'll check is our low speed coil and our low speed coil is going to be checked between the two male connectors here and it's going to give us roughly 155 ohms, yep, 156.6. So that's our low speed coil and you'll notice like this coil is uh, fewer ohms than the like a 580 or a 700 and that's, you know, it's a smaller uh, this this was for a 440 fan. So we've got our low speed, and now we can check our high speed, which is our female plug on the bottom there to the top left. And top left gives us uh, the 17.4, you know, in that ballpark. So uh, that's, that's good for ohms. Uh, most of these old style uh, stators from the early 90s with the horizontal ignition coils on them. They're in that ballpark 15 to 17 maybe 18 so um, you, you don't necessarily have to look up the exact specs all the time And then our last reading is going to be the two coils in series 
and that is those two added together, our 155 and then our 17 there. Uh, so in series, 173 and some change, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So now we know that our ignition coils, if you're checking this on a sled or even out of a sled, our ignition coils ohm out okay, our lighting coil ohms out okay, and uh, our little common uh, wire here uh, running back and forth is okay. This little common wire, just if you took the sheath off here, it just goes down and comes right back up. It doesn't go down to the stator uh, for anything, for any connection. So. so in this particular stator, if you checked it, you'd say, yeah, this is good. You know, there's always that small chance. There's a little bit of a short somewhere that isn't quite showing up yet when you check it cold, and uh, it may only show up when it's warm. So uh, you always have to watch for those issues. You know, check for connections. Make sure all the connections are tight. You know, there's nothing clipped or chipped anywhere. I've seen sleds before. You can't find an issue at all, and all of a sudden you'll look real close, and the wire will actually be like cut through right at the plug, and just you'll never you'd never see it. You don't move the plug enough to see the wire move. You know, you, some issues like that I've I've seen before where it just you almost start pulling your hair out because something is just not right with it. So, but at least if you measure it ohm wise, you know, if you measured it and it gave you you know zero, if it didn't show anything, then you know, well my issue is somewhere in here. So you just check your wires and uh, you know look for loose broken wires. So, but that's how you check this particular stator and uh, those are the ohm values, ohm readings. Thank you.